Do you remember the excitement, you know, on the first day of school or the grand opening perhaps of a business? Well, the Strath Center, they are getting ready for another opening, if you will, and it is very exciting. And we are excited to welcome back to our show, Philip Neal, artistic director, of course, of the Next Generation Ballet in the dance department. Philip, it is so good to see you again. How are you? I'm terrific. It's nice to see your face again. <laughs> so you say you are terrific and clearly all smiles because finally we get to talk about a performance that is happening once again inside the Straz. We're talking Swan Lake. What a classic and beautiful ballet. And to be able to do it back at the Straz in Warsani Hall, socially distanced. No wonder you're all smiles. This has been a long time coming. We were going to do Swan Lake right before the pandemic hit. So we've been patient and we've waited and it's actually given me many ideas how to remaster it and make a classic new. Um, we've streamlined it, it's a two hour production, but being in Morsani is wonderful because we are able to socially distance and still accommodate 700 people into that gigantic auditorium. And all of the Strath Center has basically been turned into our dressing room so the children can be uh, socially distanced and safe. So it's wonderful to be able to sort of get back to some sense of normalcy, but still uh, by, by our safety protocols. Uh, you know, I love being able to support Next Generation Ballet, but if people are not aware, you were talking, of course, about the students. That's one of the keys here in this performance itself, though, is such a, oh, the music, the costumes, you have all of the wonderful elements of a great show, but then again, you're supporting youth. Explain the program and why these performances mean so much. Yeah. Next Generation Ballet is a really unique thing, and I'm entering into my sixth year here. And this is a banner year. My, the level of talent is just remarkable. So it's Next Generation Ballet is a pre-professional training division where our students go on to join some of the most illustrious schools and companies in the world. We also have the Patel Conservatory where there's so many hundreds of young dancers and Swan Lake is a convergence of that pre-professional program that also welcomes the opportunity for local community children to perform within it. So it's spectacular with amazing sets and costumes, amazing production value, but yes, it's for the community. Tampa should be very proud of the opportunities for dance at the Strauss Center. And of course, with the socially distanced performances, you're keeping it spread out, but there's also multiple performances. And this is what I think is astounding about the young talent that you were speaking of. There's four different casts, right? It's unheard of that you can have four <laughs> casts for a small life, but I have that many talented uh, men and ladies that can do the parts of Odette and Odile and Prince Siegfried. Um, it, that, that's the caliber of what a New York City Ballet does to have yeah. that whole cast. I just was so blessed. I had so many that were on the verge of graduating but stayed because of the pandemic. I even welcomed some children back that had graduated because they needed a place to study. And then we have all the wonderful talent coming up. So it really is a banner year for talent. And I think anyone that comes to see this will be uh, shocked by the level of sophistication and excellence that we're gonna provide. You know, during this pandemic, we've gotten to interview people from all over, including a professional ballerina that's up in New York City now. And if people aren't aware, maybe they hear students, but really this is going to be the future of professional ballet dancers and ones that go to New York. I mean, you've seen how many students come away from Next Generation Ballet who've starred in these performances like this, who have gone on to so many wonderful things. Yes, it, it, what's so wonderful about being at the Strides is the performance opportunities in these giant theaters for preparing these children really well so that when they go and they get in companies, they have um, some backgrounds that other people might not have got, being able to be on more sunny stage with full production value and a union crew. I've been here long enough now that I've seen all of my children, because I think of them as the dance dad, land in all of these places. And when I go and I visit, these artistic directors tell me there's no one more prepared than your students. They don't get injured, they're conditioned. They understand responsibility and discipline. So uh, I really enjoy seeing them all land in their places and then like a whole nother group comes up the next year. Ah, oh, you are like a proud papa there. I, I can see the <laughs> smile there. And you know, being able to perform on the stage like the Morsani, which is you know nationally known for how beautiful it is, it's also an experience for the audience too. We want to make sure and get back, you know, to the element of Swan Lake because that's right now what is the key is seeing these performances. And oh, you were telling me uh, tickets are going fast, right? Tickets are going fast because they, you know, we still are limited to about a little less than seven hundred per show. We have four shows this Saturday and Sunday: two on Saturday and two on Sunday. It's a great Mother's Day gift. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go to StrasCenter.org. And another thing that's really cool is it moves really fast. And doing 
but backgrounds are digital. So like we live in this world of Zoom right now, so I can transfer us from scene to scene like a Broadway show and a nanosecond. So this show runs kind of like a Broadway show with look. It's super fast. If you've never been to the ballet, you're going to love it because it moves quickly. But also, we all know that music. It's like Nutcracker. It stirs our soul. We love that. Yes. Yes. Oh, I, I, my mouth is open as I'm listening to you talk about the backdrop. Again, Swan Lake, go check it out. I know it is going to be fabulous. Philip, it is great to see you as always. Thank you for all your support. Oh, anytime. Take care.